And so I've heard through the grapevine that uh, there are some complaints about where these are made, about traditionals and uh, modern traditionals, so I've heard. Welcome guys, Professor EDC with another Blathosophy Sunday, and you'll have to excuse, but there's a flock of parrots on the tree that I'm uh, filming under, so it's, it's uh, I don't know, there might be a, about a, a dozen or so, and so we're going to live with it, right? But getting back to the point, um, I saw a video uh, from uh, Jersey Knife Guy, good old Pete, and uh, standing up or defending a point about Jack Wolf knives. And, well, first of all, let me make one thing clear. Um, I have never asked Ben for a single knife uh, for free. Never. Um, all of my knives, all of the collection that I own, because I own the whole collection. Oh man! And I start speaking, and they <laughs> and they start speaking. Um, so the whole collection I bought with my own hard-earned money. Wasn't given anything, and. Uh, never been given uh, that for free I've been given a few a couple of knives from other YouTube uh, friends uh, from Dirk Werning um, and uh, oh from from it'll come back to me but there's just another one anyways the point being What happens when we become stagnant? What happens when uh, calcification occurs? <laughs> Sorry, but I, I, I keep on talking and the parrots keep on talking. <laughs> That's fantastic. And I'm trying to get a serious point across. Do you know what happened to the trilobits or trilobites? Don't know how, how you pronounce that, but the trilobits, when the oceans became um, too heavy on calcium, well, what happened was that it, they couldn't stand it, and a process of calcification, of fossilization began, just as when a <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue like this. Let me see if I can scare him off. There we go. Scared him off with a stick. <laughs> oh, finally. So a process of fossilization, calcification begins through different processes, right? A volcano may erupt, um, bearing, supporting a whole civilization, a whole town under its ashes and, and lava. Or um, through amber, right? Through um, the, the ice, the cold, we enter different stages of freezing, of, uh, they love this tree, of being stagnant, of being frozen, of being fossilized. So, here we have a good example of a, more of a traditional knife. And, you know, just a, traditional drop point with a 
um, convex, beautiful convex edge. It has a, let's just take this as the most traditional uh, full tank fixed blade knife that I have here. What if we had just stuck to the idea of this and, and never moved that idea? What if we had stuck to the idea of this gorgeous knife and uh, decided not to move it, not to change it? What if we decided to fossilize the industry, the knife industry, to just these two examples? Well, what would have happened is there would have been no evolution. And then something like this came along, just thinking of the um, drop point here. And, and uh, yeah, you, you may call a couple uh, a spear points, but uh, a spear point is also a drop point, so just bear with me. And uh, a locking mechanism came along, right? And then came along GEC, one of my favorite traditional knife brands. Beautiful, right? Gorgeous um, drop point. It seems like a night, it does drop just a bit enough, but you know, it's. We can also call it a straight back. Depends on how you see it. I see it as a drop with a nice belly on it. But these, these are part of an evolution. Something that didn't stop there or there. They kept on evolving so much that uh, titanium, other materials and designs, more specific designs, combination of patterns or a combination of, um, not patterns, but uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A combination of geometries came along tanto spanto drop point hmm spear point thumb disc frame lock and uh, this came from this This wouldn't have been possible without this. Then, yeah, it's a spear, spear point, but uh, this wouldn't have been able to come to life without this carbon fiber S30V S20V combination of stainless steels 3V all of this wouldn't have been uh, possible without this without this traditional models fantastic aren't they yeah but so are these and so is this different materials we can see the heritage we can see uh, the DNA 
not only of the designer or creator, Ben Belkin in this case, uh, the glassers, right? Um, but of an old geometry, of an old pattern, of an old traditional. And that's how old traditionals are still alive today, because they evolve. And they need to evolve in order to keep on existing. Check out this drop point, this modern drop point. Check out that um, finish. New materials, finishes, steel. There's the steel. Hmm. And, uh, well, in many cases, more ergonomic, more comfortable than an old um, hickory drop point. Right? These all exist because of um, these traditional geometries, these traditional knives, these traditional folders. They all exist because of those. And so we've come to this point. And we've come to this point. Do we need to criticize? Or do we need to understand better? Where are they made? Well, there are pros and cons. And we can argue about that. Would the first world be willing to lower their standards of living in order to earn less, such as developing countries do, um, to ha have those prices? That's uh, a good question. But one thing is for sure. And that is that evolution requires us to keep on walking, consciously to keep on going, consciously to keep on maturing, evolving, looking for better materials, for better cutting geometries and edges. As much as I love this, this cuts better. And of course, there are um, tools, different tools for different tasks. But hey, I enjoy each and every one of them. There is no um, race, there is no jealousy in my collection between one and the other. I just love the whole of it. So much that I gotta learn how to let go. Because it would be impossible to keep this collection if I didn't rotate. So, what happens if we freeze, if we become stagnant, if we stop moving, what happens if we go through a process of calcification and just um, fossilize, we become fossils, what happens? Well. The answer is nothing happens and we just be back to where it all began and be stuck 
in a day in and day out in the same old place. So, hope the message gets across. I do it with all respect, but at the same time, really believing in what I'm saying and what, what I think and what I study. Professor EDC, out. <laughs>